Hey, good Sunday morning, YouTube. Hugmeister's Garage and Workshop. Uh, showing us the new uh, upgrade we did to the solar system. Did a few improvements. We uh, added another battery. They're on sale on Amazon, so I grabbed one. And uh, give us a little more reserve this winter. When we try this out on running our heat system in the house. And a few other items. But uh, this is the big guy we got. Got this off of eBay. Nice guy up in Maine. Uh, he had an open uh, box return, come with full warranty, and uh, ended up getting a hundred bucks off it. A hundred uh, more, hundred more than a hundred dollars off it with the programmer. And the name's Ryan McQueenie, I believe, and did a good job getting it here in good shape. Beautiful, beautiful machine. Get to mess around with the uh, settings through the uh, programming. It's not that bad once you uh, get going with it. But we also upgraded our, our feed lines. We had number four run into the old one. Now we got number two run into it. Added the uh, two-pole circuit breaker, breaker instead of the separate one we had. Added new bus bars with a couple more posts so we keep the uh, battery feed separate individuals. And we upgraded the wires from the uh, combiner box to the uh, charger controller. And we upgraded the size from the charge controller to the battery bank. Had a few of them that felt kind of a little bit warm on a real sunny day. So I wanted a little more safety factor. So, so everything's fused. And I'll take you downstairs and show what else we did. But this is... Uh, this has a five-year warranty, and it's a really nice unit. Been working good so far. Runs my air conditioner without uh, swapping back over. I took my uh, I took my Vivor out of there. That was working fine, except it's not a transformer-based inverter. So when my air conditioner was coming on downstairs, it was swapping back to utility for about ten minutes, and it would swap back. So that was annoying, but. This doesn't do it because it weighs like 60 pounds. It's got the big transformer in it. So I'll take you downstairs next. All right, we're downstairs. We added a GX50 down here. So I can see what everything's doing down here. I just hit the touch pad. Just made a little uh, uh, crooked cut bracket for it. <laughs> it works for now. And now, just like I say, when I run my air conditioner off the inverter, it doesn't swap over to utility power because the transformer swallows up the load, I believe. But I can run my coffee maker if I want to, my fridge. Plus, we got a couple other outlets down here to be handy. But there you go, folks. Latest upgrades. 